the sea. Hi, I'm Lily and I'm here with Interfilm at the premiere of The Song of the Sea. Song of the Sea is based on Irish folk tales about seal people. We're going to go onto red carpet now and see who we can find. What inspired you to use Irish folklore in your film? And is it important to keep traditional stories alive? Yeah, that's what inspired me actually, that I felt it was important that the traditional stories could be retold and remembered and that people could discover them again. The animation is beautiful. Were you able to see any of it before you're filming your lines, or how did Tom describe it? Well, I'd seen um, the, their other film, uh, Secret of Kells, and uh, and that was just, oh my God, that was amazing. And that was nomination for the Oscar. And they'd had loads of pictures over the walls, like of uh, the drawings, and they'd show me what the character would look like. They were beautiful, it's the word that you'd use to describe it. It's just amazing drawings, and so detailed, and also kind of very Irish and Celtic and mythical, I really love it. Did you learn anything interesting about Irish folklore? Yeah, um, I'd heard about uh, the Selkies, which is uh, half seal, half human. It's kind of Irish, uh, Scottish folklore, so it was kind of interesting. But um, I kind of knew a little few things about it. But it was, it was, it was. I was kind of excited to see how it would turn out. There's such beautiful designs and shapes in the drawings. Visually, what influence to look at the film? In, if you look at some of the rock carvings in Scotland and Ireland, there's all these kind of Pictish carvings and we looked at those really old carvings. We wanted to get some of the shape language from that into the film, but otherwise the art director Adrian and I just wanted to use watercolours to create the real atmosphere of a kind of murky Irish sky. Ben enjoys reading fantastic stories by Torchlight. Did anyone read stories to you growing up and why is it important for us to tell all these stories? Well, it's great to like tell stories and keep them down. Like I remember reading like Percy Jackson books and uh, like Greek mythology books, like which I absolutely love, and uh, and also Irish ones as well. And it's great to keep the traditions and uh, also the stories and folklore, you know, alive. Well, the film looks perfect, but the underwater scenes are magical. What did you do to stretch your animation skill? The underwater scenes were very challenging and we had to uh, work with a team both in Ireland and in Belgium to find a way to create the water because water is very challenging to animate and it would just take hundreds of people, hundreds of years to animate it all by hand. So we had to come up with clever techniques to mix computer animation with hand-drawn animation there. Shell that my mother gave me a long time ago. Sound is magical too. Can you describe the process of adding it to the images? The sound design was really interesting. We actually went field recording in Ireland, so we went actually went out to the sea and put a hydrophones in the water and went out in boats, and so that was really fun. So we didn't use library sounds, we actually went and recorded uh, sounds out in the wild. You play a stubborn older brother, but in real life your sisters are older than you. Did you pick up any tips from them how to be a meanie? <laughs> no, I could get beaten up if I told you that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, my sisters are very nice people. 